<laughs> what's good lovely people and welcome to my channel i want to first apologize for disappearing for months i've been going through a lot and working on a lot of things at the same time and among them was going to driving school so i want to share with you my experience of going to a driving school in kenya but first of all i was trying to go for like a parisian inspired look with this beret i don't know if it panned out exactly how i figured it in my mind but nevertheless move on First, uh, among my resolutions was this year to know how to drive. I know, I know, at your age people would assume that I know how to drive and most guys actually in Nairobi don't know how to drive and people, most people in my age group don't know how to drive but I took it upon myself to go to a driving school and learn how to drive. So you go through the theory and knowing how to, to identify the traffic signs and all and the mod the model town board and that was one of the hardest things that i've ever had to do like driving um those cars in those model town boards it has so many rules like you have to put it in you have to like master them and it was not easy but a nigga survived and one of the things that we had to do was to learn how to interchange cars like you're being told to move this car from this point and maybe it, this road is blocked and these things were like very mind-boggling to me because this is coming from a person that has done so many difficult things like this is coming from a person that knows the choreo of so many songs like i know the choreo of single ladies in it out of topic so driving a manual car was not one of the easiest things and on day one it actually requires a lot of mental work and a lot of physical work at the same time because you have to do like everything manually you have to step on the clutch you have to change the gear you have to step on the clutch you have to accelerate any it's a lot of work but uh, yeah well, driving a manual car is not easy and i don't know how people do it but once you start practicing you get the hang of it but it was not as hard as i thought um i did like several practice tests because you're supposed to do like a number of tests practical tests before you can actually sit for the actual ntsa exam yeah we'll get to that you know about the model town board um it's not as it's it's like a board which it has like a representation of the roads and you have some rules you have to follow you have to drive along you have to identify what type of parking this is and yeah i struggled but at the same time there's like no way out there's no way out because uh you have to know them you have to know the rules you have to know how to drive along the car you have to know how to interchange and do all those interchanges and i was asking myself what if they bring this to the actual exam and then like there's a cop because i started by seeing like all these youtube videos of people narrating their driving school experiences and i was like shell shocked i was like Am I really going to get through this? But yeah, I did. So uh, I want to talk about the actual exam day, um, the NTSA day, and I was I I was doing it along Mombasa Road. So we went to at the river. Uh, we were actually like bundled in like a like a car that took us to at the river from like the actual driving school. Um, so for those who know at the river is dusty as hell but <laughs> it was so dusty so we were like in the back of like this um lorry and we were like being ferried to the actual grounds where the, the actual hsa exam was going to be done and in my mind i was like oh this is gonna take a long day because when we got there there were so many driving schools there were like six of them and we arrived like being the last and there were like six driving schools each with the number of many uh with many students that wanted to do the exams and we had come in last and our school like had over a hundred not even a hundred let's say like 300 students waiting to do that exam first thing first first to first four things um came to my turn uh, people were being asked to like identify like parts of the town board to move the car from this point to this point and to and the actual practical test which was like to drive the cars and my turn came and i was i was told to like move this car from this point to to identify like the traffic signs and they put out very randomly like the traffic signs so that um 
in real sense when you're driving you won't have like time to like think about oh this is like this traffic site this is what it means so he was like very fast uh like pointing them out and you're supposed to identify what each one of them means and if you like got them wrong he would like give you like a pause and then you you repeat again it was actually really nice the part of the model town world the part that was actually dreading the most was actually the easiest for me came to the practical part we were supposed to like drive the car for like a certain distance and i was given like a manual car and i got in we were actually with this um ntsa officer he was actually very nice i introduced myself kamboni kai ka um washagari i nikashagari nikakanyaga clutch nikamboeka gear one um mtukaenda eka gear two um yeah it was a manual car and surprisingly i did very well and they have like a good poker face you can't tell if you've actually passed or failed so after i was done we like came to a stop and he told me to like get out so i get out <laughs> which i did hastily and after getting out i was like oh man i don't know if i've passed or if i've failed but we'll know we'll know like in a couple of days so after a couple after like let's say two days i was like very anxious to know if i've passed or failed because driving is not easy and i actually thought i'd like messed up because um you can't tell if you've passed or failed because he writes this max and you don't know if he's giving you like a good mark and you have to like recheck the whole exam but luckily i survived i survived and when the day came i after a week because i kept on checking the ntc portal and it was actually very um overloaded um it was actually like having a downtime because i think many people were trying to like uh check their results and at the same time the ntc officers were trying to like put the actual results so it took like a week before i got my actual driving results and i passed yay i passed and mm. so if you're looking for a driver hit your boy up but i won't say like i'm 100 percent confident i can like drive like a manual car for like because i don't think i'll be doing that like anytime soon i like driving a manual car but an automatic is actually easier to drive yeah it's actually easier to drive and fun yeah it doesn't require a lot of like brain work and physical work like you just turn this gear and you step on the yeah it's easy so that's max the end of this video if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in my next video so bye for now